Hello everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week I'm working on the downpipe on the Rabbit because I'm waiting for parts for the Mitsubishi. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so I finally got in the parts that I was waiting for for the downpipe for the Rabbit, which is the second downpipe I've built for this car, because I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, so what we have here is the stock downpipe uh, V-band clamp, a new clamp for the downpipe. A three inch to two and a half inch reducer, a brand new cat from Magnaflow, which I can also get $75 back on if I had an old cat. Um, and then two of these very, very tight U bends from Vibrant Performance. And of course, a couple of oxygen sensor bungs because I'm going to have to run dual oxygen sensors on this setup. All right, so <laughs> it took a while to get some of these parts because the first time I ordered a downpipe from the junkyard, it took them, I want to say it was like three and a half weeks to tell me that they wouldn't sell me the junk, the, the downpipe or the flanges or anything from it. So because it has a pre-cat in it, they wouldn't even cut the flange off the pre-cat and sell me that so I'd have stuff to work with. <laughs> so thanks to the EA211 owners group on Facebook, I got some information on what I should buy to get the right flange for the downpipe. <laughs> so thumbs down to the junkyard, thumbs up to, well, people on Facebook. Uh, then I ordered some tight radius U-bends um, and they showed up and they were wide radius. I want to say the, the spread was like eight inches on, the, on them. I was like, this isn't going to work. So it's taken me a while to actually get the right stuff to, to do this job. So now today all I have to do is really just kind of cut and paste it all together and make myself a downpipe. So this is the old flange set up for two inch pipe, which I had to grind out from two inch <laughs> to two and a half, which took forever. <laughs> so that took literally what felt like forever. Um, casualty was one drill and since all I could find today was a bunch of these little style of grinding bits, um, I think I have a collection of, yes, three of those casualties. Um, one of these rotary files which didn't work at all and I used up a few of my old cutting wheels that I could slip inside of there and use. <laughs> so the next step will be to fabricate that piece that goes from the cat down to the exhaust flange, which I might do in a little bit because I've been grinding for like two and a half or three hours now. <laughs> All right, I'll we'll show you where I'm at so far on the downpipe. Hopefully, hopefully you can see here, I've got a lot of light down here. Um, so I've got the, the V-band clamp, I got the new cat on, kind of pointed down here at the flange for the exhaust, which I need to kind of prop up a little bit on a block of wood just to get it where I want it because I've got it sitting on the jack back there. And I need to make this piece, the cat, connect to here, which should be fairly straightforward. So. It looks like I have a complete downpipe. So here's the view from up top. You can see the cat there. It's not completely fully welded yet. Um, and the V-band clamp up here at the top. And if we head underneath the car, and the view from underneath the car, there we go. Get some light here. So I've still got to locate the oxygen sensor. Sorry, my hands are shaking because I'm tired and hungry. So I'll try to hold the camera still here and not point at things. Um, 
so you can see I've got plenty of clearance around the CV boot, the shift cables, some of the electronics on the back side of the motor here. Everything's got plenty of room. Some of these things come with their own little little sheaths that go over the, the plugs and stuff too to help keep them from which I should probably make sure that those are all nestled over their appropriate plugs. So I'm probably going to need to get some wrap for this downpipe. Um, and I may even have some. I'm up to look. And then I've obviously got to take it out and finish welding it and figure out exactly where I'm going to put my oxygen sensors. So I'd say this turned out pretty well. There's probably some things I could do better. But that's all I'm doing today. I'm tired. I've been out in the garage all day. Um, it's, well, it's almost 50 in the garage, so it's not too bad. But um, I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm going to call it a night. So, uh, unfortunately, I won't video the rest of it, like the welding table stuff, and or putting in the oxygen sensor bungs. That's just going to drill a hole and then weld the, the bung over the top of it. So... Nothing real cosmic about that, but that's one more thing off the list on the rabbit uh, while I'm waiting for parts for the sideboard. All in all, a pretty productive day, and uh, so that's all from me. Until next time, get out there and work on something.